All right, I did not mess up the audio this time like I did last time. God, I still can't believe that happened. <laughs> well, let's get this party started. Uh, what I was going to say, I didn't even real. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to stream tonight because I was just so busy. That's why I started at 9 instead of 8.30 like I would have originally. And I know I said I was going to... Um, I was going to start the game at like halfway through that level that we were at last night, but I just didn't have any time. So the deal is like, we're going to start it from the beginning again, but since last night, I actually did all the activities at the Somnio level up. Uh, sorry, I, I did. Uh, I had a bunch of master seals to promote a lot of my units. So they, they're a lot stronger now. We're going to be able to get through that a lot easier. So I... Easier, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be easy, but it's going to be a little more enjoyable rather than constantly having to rewind and all that. So we're going to have a better shot this time around. And we already have the some knowledge ahead of time of some of the spawns and some of the things that happen. So we're going to be able to plan it out a little better. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to skip the like the cutscenes and stuff that we already saw just to kind of get through it. But... Oh damn, I was going to switch the camera to Kobe, but as soon as they started talking, he just decided, eh, I'm out of here. <laughs> so, I guess he doesn't want to be on screen tonight. Oh well, that's on him. Let's get this started first, though. Let's get the mood lighting on. Now that we got this, on the game. Oh, and everybody, if you start coming on, watching... Please leave a like or a follow and or both. Help me out. <laughs> yeah, let's get started here. Begin chapter. I was thinking about doing the skirmish, but then I saw I forgot that the base level for the skirmish was way higher than the actual story mode chapter. So I'm like, ah, screw it. We'll just keep advancing here for now. Divine one. Yeah, I'm going to skip these cutscenes. We already saw them in the last episode, so if you want to see them, you can just go back and watch that one. I'll be performing my favorite song with my backup singers, Marin and Panette. Oh, sorry. Also, those of you watching, feel free to chat. That Damn, that chat window's looking arms. a little empty. You're ready to Adam, fight. I know you're watching. Like, it feels weird that you're not talking shit yet. It's like okay to sus. I need to stay ADA compliant. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I forgot exactly where it had a starting, but... I know I'm gonna have to pick the units because I get the three that I don't really get a choice. The the three that are with the green circles, those are the allies that you don't really get a choice in the matter. But as for the rest of them, yeah, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna switch some things around here. Like I don't want him. I want the ones that actually have that actually have abilities. That, well, these two do have the rings already, so I'm I'm good with those. The other, the other ones that are really good that I actually promote, I mean, I'm going to need him for sure. He's going to be my boss archer. He's going to he's gonna put in some work. Yeah, I think those are the main ones. I'm going to leave her this time. I did promote her to Griffin Knight. So you know how last time, <laughs> you know, the rings got stolen, so she was able to use staffs because she had the staff proficiency from the ring. And she lost the, the ring. She couldn't use staffs anymore, but now I promoted her. So she can use stabs again. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that set up. We're gonna play with this. I'm gonna see if there's anything better we can do here in terms of swapping places. Cause I know the archer, it's gonna have to be over here. He he needs to be where he can attack the flyers that are gonna be coming in. But as for the units that are be, that are gonna be coming down here, we need. Oh, we're going to have to use our tank. He's going to be over here as well. I know there's a couple of archers down here. Ivy is bay. Hell, I have actually been liking her a lot. Especially since I promoted her and I just saw her stats go like, ooh. I'm like, oh yeah. Like, she's... 
She's definitely one of the better units, and I haven't even used her much, and I can already tell. But as for the ones that are going to be coming down here, I'm going to use her because I do need to have that the heal from her. Actually, well, I have two units that can heal. I have her and I have Ivy, which is why she's so fucking awesome. Like you said, she is Bay. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I don't think I have to reorder much. I think we're actually pretty good here. I'm just going to move him here, but I don't think it's even going to matter because we're going to have to work on breaking this stuff down here. I th yeah, I say we're fine. I think we can just get, get this party started. Skip the cutscenes. And like I said, I see uh, there's a few more people joining in now. Uh... I usually don't skip the cutscenes. I'm just doing it this time because these are cutscenes that we already saw last night, so I don't want to be too repetitive. Okay, so I'm gonna try to remember what the hell. Oh yeah, they start over here. Which are these guys? These are corrupted, so I don't have to worry about them pillaging this house here. So I'm not gonna waste a turn on that like I did last time. That was one of the mistakes I made. So I'm gonna leave this alone. And that's a corrupted. That's a ruffian. So he's probably gonna try to come here. I'm gonna let him break down the barricade. Daro is the homie. Oh, he's the one that always howls. He's like like a freaking frat bro. Yeah. I actually actually did kind of like him. I just I'm not including him in this team because I already have a couple healers and it didn't really give me the option to include more. But I definitely did set him up to be one of my main ones. So I'm honored. So what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna have him just attack at a distance first. Just to chip him down. Adam, why you gotta talk shit, man? But this kind of uh, defamation cannot go unpunished. Okay. She's. Sorry. Right. She's gonna come in. Sorry, the flyer. I'm gonna come in and attack. I'm gonna set what his danger zone is. And I think I'm just not gonna worry about him right now. Silver Axe. 86% chance we should be good. Let's let's do it. Hell yeah. Alright. Ready for anything. Let's attack this at oh, she doesn't do much, huh? Oh, and I know there's two units here. I, I just remembered that, too. Here goes. I don't want to be too hasty. Understood. So, he's going to have to wait. I wish he could attack, but sadly he can't. Come and face me. He's going to have to wait. We got both enemies there uncovered now. She can actually come here and attack one of them. And kill him. That's even better. So what I'm actually gonna do instead is I'm gonna put her yeah, I'm gonna put her here just to get that kill there. Oh, she's like this whole thing about leaving them at one. God damn it. Uh, well, it is what it is, right? She's not gonna get hit though. He's got a 0% chance to hit. So far that has been. Her strength is that she's got very high evasion. So I've been using her as an evasion tank. And then she can come here and actually pick up the skill. So what I should have done is I should have chipped down with her fur. Oh no, she doesn't reach, huh? What? Okay, I, I guess she has to come here and be in range of... Oh, I don't know that I want to do that. Anybody else reach that asshole? Yeah, he can reach him with the, with the longbow. Okay, that's good. He's still gonna get hit, but he'll live. That's the important thing. Yeah, let's get this attack in. The reason for this is we don't want to have too many enemy units that have access to the same friendly unit because then they just gang up on them. And you know, since I always make this reference, I probably do need to make uh, an effect on OBS to have Hyper Perry show up with the, the dudes behind her. Because that's basically what happens. If there's three people that can ki attack the same unit, they'll gang up on them and just kill them off, and that's it. So I do not want that happening. 
So here, I need to see what this does when, when he comes back on the backswing, because I don't want to put her in harm's way for no reason. So she's got a defense of 17. And he attacks for 30, so oh my god, that's a lot. So she's going to get hit twice. That is one strong son of a bitch. I don't like that. So a speed of 23, she has a speed of 14. What the speed means is that whoever... If one unit beats the other by five, that unit gets to attack twice. So it's going to be dealing twice the damage. So I actually need to see if I can get her speed up. That makes it even worse. Yikes. I don't want any of that. Let's see if I can do anything here instead. That'll land the break. So instead, I'm just going to... None of this is good. I'm gonna leave her here. I think that's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna leave her here. Oh, she can get attacked by both. That really sucks. Okay. I, I remember. That's why I have this guy. I remember now. So we're gonna use... Oh, shit. I'm supposed to pick him, then hit start. So what's gonna happen is... I'm gonna put him here. And I'm gonna Astro Storm... That flyer here is just going to get one shot. Got to take 50 damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put him down. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to remember, like, what the hell did I do last time? Why is this looking so bad? <laughs> but yeah, here we go. She's got speed of nine, so she's probably gonna get killed too if I don't do anything, but. Damn, this is just. And she gets broken. Okay. But either way, I, I'm just gonna leave her here. Might have to engage. Already. Which is fine because th these chapters usually have. Let's see. She's going to endure this attack, and then the next turn, she's going to land the, the hit. Hey, Rodney King, the unit, to be honest. <laughs> no! No! Don't say that! <laughs> Alright. So let's try to start destroying these barricades here. Let's go! So, destroy! Oh, she, now that I promoted her... She has the proficiency to wield that uh that special lance now, so she's gonna be a lot more formidable. Formidable, I don't know how you pronounce it. Really? Really. Yes. I, I guess that answers my question. Thank you, Zelkov. Your orders, please. Oh, come on. I will obey. Oh, does she get the kill? Please get the kill and don't just leave him at one. She's gonna take 11 damage, but only a 58% chance to hit, so she might actually be a champ and fucking dodge this. Okay, no, she took it, but she took it pretty well. Not even half. So, not bad. Alright, skip that shit. Blow up a house. Oh, he dies? Oh, dude, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewind because that was bad. I didn't think that dude was gonna die just like that. Holy fuck. Alright, we're gonna have to rewind. And th this is, unfortunately, a reality of playing maddening. It's like, any every move has to be perfect, otherwise somebody's gonna die. It's super annoying. We're gonna have to redo that turn. It's the first turn. That's really annoying to do. So... We're gonna make the, the first play here, just like we did last time. No, no issues. Where's... I keep forgetting that it's this guy. Master Storm, because that has to kill this. A good win. He's dead. Uh, 
that, skip that, skip that. Damn, that sucks. I have to wait here just to uncover those units. We actually need to try to take this thing down. Liberation doesn't do it. I don't know how this thing is so freaking tanky. Can anybody else get close enough to attack him? Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Let's see if I can attack with Thunder here. Yeah, that's not even close. She can get some damage in, but just not enough. Do this, that other that other tanky one's gonna get the kill. Yikes. I don't know why they made this so difficult. It's gonna have to come here. Then we're just gonna repeat this part here. Let's go Liberation, get the- Oh no, I forgot that doesn't get the kill. Liberation and still Steel Sword deal the same amount of damage. The fact that she can't land that kill is annoying. Well, I guess that's what it is, right? Alright. He did get Rodney King. I know this thing. He seems to be the one that's most likely to survive an attack from... Attack. I need to see what this battle looks like if they do end up fighting. It's like half. It gets chunked for half. Yeah, they do not make this a very... Ugh. So bad. He can't really even get close. Sorry, I, I gotta think about this for a bit, because this guy can come here, but then he's just gonna get attacked again. He'll be able to get the kill here. She will be able to deal some damage here, and then between the three of them, they should be able to kill these two, right? At least that's the hope slash cope. Attack. It's not nearly enough damage. She can come here. I think she gets the kill here, we said, right? No, it still takes two of them to... Like, none of them is good enough to... Yeah, between the three of them, they cannot kill the two. Oh, that's fucking annoying. Oh. I know what I can do. Bring her here. Attack. That. Put him there anyway. The other thing I can do is I can... He doesn't reach. Okay, speed of 14. Three. He's gonna get attacked twice for 30. Her defense 15, so she's gonna get hit for 30. That means that she'll live. She can actually come here and defend. Yeah, so she actually can get some damage in here. Let's see if any of her other items help her out with the speed. 16 with a 23. No, she's still going to get hit twice, so there's no point. Yeah, we're just going to get some damage in with the thunder. She'll be able to tank the damage. Now we can come in with the rest of these. Guy hits for 34, but with a speed of 13, he's not much of a threat. We may be able to skip him and just attack with the rest of these. 
she unfortunately is being useless and can't reach. These are, yep, yeah, no. So dumb. Really dumb. It's like, we just cannot kill this guy. He's so fucking tanky. She can... We have to kill this guy first. That's for sure. Let's just start there. He's going to have the highest chance of dodging if he has to. She can just kind of come here. Get the kill. That is that. And then... Oh my God. She can get in the way. And do the great ether attack here. So I think she's going to endure a turn. Then attack back the next turn. I believe that's how that works. If I remember reading that correctly. It's gonna come here. Destroy Silverlands. It's gonna deal all the damage. I know there's a unit here that's gonna come out and attack, so. Wait. I wonder if she can do anything. Did she get the kill here? Oh, uh, not quite. Let's see the killer lands, though. No, uh, she has to crit. I don't think it's gonna... Looking a little sus. And of course, he's got a hand axe to attack with. What she's gonna do is she's gonna come here. Wait, can she protect? She has to be engaged in order to be able to do that. Okay. She may be able to just kind of sit here in the way. Just equip the javelin. So if he tries to attack from a distance, he's going to get attacked back anyway. We should be good there. You think the Let's skip this again. She attacks the turn in advance. It looks like nobody died, huh? That's pretty good. This guy came over here and just kind of... She tanked it. This guy came over, did nothing. Alright, so it looks like we got that part under control. Now we got to see how we're going to do the rest of this. So she somehow... Oh, she can destroy. Yeah, so let's destroy that barricade. Boom. I think the, those flyers are a nuisance. I'm going to need him. Actually, any of these, really. Level 4, level 2. So she needs to get Don't the damage here. Yourself. So let's get this attack with the elf. Actually, let's use thunder so we can get a little closer. Nothing left of you. There we go. Here, one second, I gotta mess with something here. All right. This guy's had a sliver of health. Who can pick up the kill here that matters? Level 1. He's level 17, so he needs to get ahead a little bit. He can just destroy the barricade. That's what I want to do with him. Destroy. Oh, that, 
was not enough at all. Yeah, let's get this attack in here. How professional. Oh, one second here. I'm sorry. So this thing still has to go down. It looks like we got an axe guy that's gonna be an ass one. Of course he has a hand axe. He's got that, that distance. This guy's got a steel bow, so he's gonna be able to move one, two, three. So he's gonna be able to attack my flyer. That's not good. If he moves here, that's yeah, that's gonna be an issue. We're gonna have to move. Gonna have to destroy that anyway. So he cannot reach my bow guy. This guy's gonna be a nuisance too. She cannot simply just come in here and get any kills or anything, especially because that that archer is gonna be a problem. So she's gonna have to just kind of stay here. See, is there anything she can do with a staff? She can use Psychic and heal. Yeah, that's probably what she's gonna do. Items. Psychic. Oh, she actually has to get closer here to be able to heal, huh? Staff. Oh, she only has to get closer by one space. Oh, that does not heal much. Better than nothing, though. Now that we have that, the rest of these can actually start coming down here. Start getting a little more aggressive. He needs to be over here where he can kill the flyers. Doesn't look like anybody here is going to be doing anything. We want to kind of stick relatively together. I ain't doing shit. Oh, he still got hit for seven. That's not a whole lot. Okay. There we go. I don't know why he chose to attack there, but okay. Alright, so we have to try to rush through this as fast as we can. This can she reach anyone from where she's sure. at? Oh, she can. He's gonna attack with thunder. Get some damage onto this asshole. It's now. He can get the kill on the archer. That's that's groovy right there. And anyone else? I am he got the kill on this other archer. Back. Killer bow. It's for 16 twice because he's just that much faster. Oh, so by the way, those of you watching, he's got this ability. Just really freaking dumb. If he beats if he initiates combat and he's faster than the opponent by nine points. He gets to attack twice before the opponent has a chance to counterattack. So, that's why he gets to deal the 16 damage twice. Usually it would be like he deals 16, opponent counterattacks, deals a bunch of damage, and then he deals a second attack afterwards and I have to deal with the damage that was dealt. Not today! Precision. I cannot retreat now. So that's pretty gangster. I can come here. Oh, I thought he could get the kill, but I guess not. He can still crit. He's got a 17. It's not terrible. Before I do that, let's see if she can get the kill. He's not in danger of getting hit by an archer, so. 
No, it does not seem like she can get the kill. Fortunately. Damn it. Really hoping he could do something. Okay, no. So what I'm going to have to do then in that case, I'm going to have to get attack with her first. See where the killer lands to see if we get lucky and she crits. Oh, even a crit won't be enough. She has to hit with, with this one. Yeah, let's just do that. He's going to have to just get the kill with this. Attack. It's a chain attack too, so that's cool. As long as nothing misses, we're good. I will not we go. This grave. So he can move in over here. He can start working on tearing down that barricade. There is a bunch of damage to that. Now we take care of the stuff on this side. I try to do one half at a time because if one of my characters gets killed. I don't have to rewind and do the whole turnover. I can just do this last because it's where I'm more likely to actually actually get screwed over. I'm gonna leave this alone until these guys actually start. Oh, that that thing's actually getting hit. I didn't pay attention to that. So we're gonna visit here just to get that out of the way. Oh, she's gonna lure them. She's not gonna get hit because she's got a uh, evasion of 106. So we'll be fine. Uh, what I have to figure out is can we kill this archer from here? I don't want to jump the gun and then it turns out one, two, three, four, five. So he's not gonna be able to reach. One, two, three, four. Four, so she can kill that and then between these two one two three she can attack with a hand axe and then he one he can actually get in there and and hit him head on so i think this might work what's this guy's defense 16 oh, speed speed of 18 so he only gets to hit once eh, that thing's probably not gonna die if i do this She can't even reach just to get the attack in. One, two, three, four. Eh. Oh well. It's gonna attack with this anyway because, you know, eight, speed of ten. It's got that demolish ability that lets her one shot barricades. That makes it a little convenient for us to be able to get through. So he unfortunately cannot reach. Nobody here can really reach or do much of anything. She can, however, attack here. Die if she does that. I can deal some serious damage here, leave him at 16. I'm gonna have to check, see if he can come here and deal 16 damage himself. Steel sword or silver dagger. Oh no. Nope. Doesn't seem like anyone can do anything. Of 18 to her 14. One, so she's not adequate for fighting here. And what did this, the, the hand axe do? Yeah, she gets hit for 22 twice. So, no, she cannot be here. She has to stay the hell away from that archer. 14, 18. Yeah. She has to back away, unfortunately. He, however, come here. And whip the tomahawk. So he's able to fight back. If anything happens. Now... You know what? Let's get some damage in here. 
Yeah, we want to use a silver dagger so when he tries to counterattack, we can we can attack back. So here we go. Not a lot of damage, but I just know that everybody's gonna be able to live in the backswing. She cannot survive, so she has to stay over there and be useless. He can't really reach anything, so he's gonna wait here as well. Also be useless. For now. Snuffing out the lights. My god, that is so much damage. Fuck this archer. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Getting DP'd. Trying anyway. See, although she could just solo all those flyers, because she just doesn't care. She's gotta dodge everything. It's fucking awesome. Attack, liberation. Oh, really? Leaves her a two. Or one. Okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, we may be able to pick up these kills here, though. I mean, he may actually be able to come... Oh, he can't even get close enough to do that. She... Attack. That. Kill him. And she... Attack this, and then he can make his way. No, he can't reach. He has to use the longbow. He's gonna have to use the longbow to be able to reach uh, this guy. Huh. I guess she's just gonna have to keep soloing them. We can kill that way just to pick off the kill. I had no choice but to win. I cannot trust her to be. Anywhere near. Because I, I don't know why she gets that speed penalty because she's carrying weapons that she can't actually lift and she doesn't have to build for. So that's what really sucks about her. It's like she can only really attack things that she can hit once and hopefully not die on the on the counter swing. So that's the situation there. So here she can just keep attacking. Oh, she got hit. Not for a lot. She did get hit. Let's see, can they... Oh, she's actually pretty safe here. She can't just kind of pick up this kill with a hand axe. you are lucky. They really should have just used the hand axe first so that Ladasha could pick up the kill. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't think anything's going to surprise us here. Then again, that that's would be surprising in and of itself. We gotta try to get through here as fast as we can. She... she able to reach that barricade? Yeah, it looks like she might be. He needs to be able to reach it, though. Oh, that sucks. He's gonna be useless this turn. Fortunate for us. At least we can... we can kill that thing off. So we can get in there with the rest of our units. So we're gonna come here. We're gonna be aggressive. We need to get these kills. Oh, the engage isn't necessary, I don't think. Actually, let's see what the engage does. If I can, if I can get the one hit kill here, Pro yeah, Heroes Unite. Maybe even just the combat art alone. Atrocity. Oh, yeah. I think we can do that. Let's do that. I must stay yeah. focused. That's going to help because that's going to free up a unit to actually... See, there was another one hidden there. So that could have been really problematic. Now we can get him to... He still can't reach, that fucker. Oh, that's because the thicket is there in the way. 
fight. And even if he flies, he still gets hindered by the... That makes... Okay, that, that just makes zero sense that he doesn't get the flying, even though he's a fucking dragon. But all right, game. Okay, I guess we'll do what you say. We don't have a choice. Well, just for shits, I guess I'm just gonna... Just gonna give him the Divine Blessing, then. Fuck it. So we're gonna have to be extra aggressive the next turn, because there's gonna be more units coming this way. We have to go in there as fast and as aggressively as we can. So they're gonna try to... They would both try to attack. I don't... There's swords, so I don't... Silver sword and armor... Oh, he's got an armor slayer, huh? Yeah, he does not... Does he still count as cavalry? Even though he's transformed? Guess we'll find out, because this game has some silly fucking rules. It doesn't even tell you those rules either, it just fucking surprises you with them. what her engage does. Huh. Probably don't want to do that. Can't even use a bonded shield or anything. We are gonna engage, though. We do kind of have to do that. So now we gotta take care of our little issues on this side. She may be able to just come destroy one of these barricades and then the rest of these guys can come in and finish the job over here. Or nah. We can just... Let's get green, just be like... You put up a good fight. So we got that taken care of. But this is still going to be a problem. She's going to have to come in here. I don't think anyone here is threat. Is speed of 12 and 14. Yeah, so she can destroy one of the... Oh, that freaking flyer. It's annoying. Corrupted. Speed of 13. Alright, I think... Seems like we'll be fine if... Destroy. Uh, we don't need to use the javelin. We can use the silver lance. Never equipped with that. I he can come in. We can try to get some damage here either one of these let's hit the one with the armor slayer he's a bigger threat I don't know if this will work out but we'll see if we did that right oh fuck there's a third unit there son of a bitch I did always something this is really difficult to deal with so I'm gonna have to rewind again, I guess. Oh, Our bonds give me strength. Oh, they, they all try to come and get her. It's over. Damn, she's strong. Okay, so I know not to put that guy in the way, because he's fucking weak. She gets hit twice in a row, really? Okay, game. Okay, so we can see that what went wrong here is that this guy just cannot reach because reasons. But, uh, he has a movement of four. That's so dumb. I'm also very used to him having a, a movement of, what, like five or six when he had Sigurd's emblem on. So that kind of really screwed things up a bit. But yeah, the fact that there's also that hidden mage. That... God, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo this turn again anyway. It's fucking annoying. Like every time more people join, some bullshit happens and I have to rewind and they're like, man, and they leave. This game has its ups and downs. Like, it's nice to stream because it's turn based so I can stop and talk. So, like, it's not like I have to be super focused on it. The downside is this bullshit. And then like what happened last night where it just hits you with curveballs where like that one mission was so short that I 
kind of really threw me off and I don't know I'm, I'm very conflicted to whether this is a good game to stream or not so he I need to see where I can start this turn again that part is fine so let, let's let's do this is this where the majority of the headache is right now The fact that none of these, like, they just can't reach, like, really. He can come in and destroy this barricade by himself, and he can't do much besides that. The fact that there's a guy here with an armor slayer, and there's a mage over here, that means that he cannot exactly just tank. Because he can't. He's weak to magic, and he's weak to armor slayers. It's, it's just the setup that we're dealing with here. So we got to think this through and sorry if I'm a little slow here, but I'm going to have to be because this game is not exactly a gung ho, get in there type of game. You kind of have to think your moves through. So <sighs> putting him in this corner was a mistake I'm realizing that now, but well, I realized it last turn, but not a lot you can do about it at this point. I can do. Can. Hopefully, just destroy this barricade here, him, and the rest of these should be able to get in here and not... Yeah, let's put him a little further away so he doesn't just get attacked. Yeah, he'll be able to destroy this barricade. That way. Is she gonna be able to get in here? She can't land the kill. There's gonna be a lot going on here. If we do an engage, Noble Rapier is not gonna be enough, but it does get the break. We do all for one. That's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Just a regular attack. If I do the killer lance and we get lucky and, and we crit, uh, it's not going to crit for a lot of damage either. Yeah, I don't know. She's taking a lot of damage back. I think the move here might be to put him here because he could be within two spaces. That way he can help us a backup. That's what the all for one does. We put them closer together here. One, two. He's not going to be in range. We can put him in range. And then he can also come down here. Or he can just attack, I guess. I guess that works too. Hopefully our guys do an evasion tank thing so that we don't just freaking die. Now here's what I'm wondering. If we engage. How much evasion is she going to have? Let's see, avoid. 53 with the lands. 58 with the killer lands. So nothing really... 53 gives her the most chance to avoid getting hit. So that might be what we have to do here. It's gonna attack the killer lands just so she can avoid taking a ton of damage. Yeah, so you'll have a 30% chance to hit. So this, this may be the way. That's what we may have to do. It's still a gamble, but that's what this game is. It's, it's like playing poker. You can have pocket aces and still lose. So let's see what we got here. Give me strength. So he's just gonna have to come here. And can either use a I guess we don't have to. We don't have to use a vulnerary. We will. We got plenty of vulneraries. 
She's gonna have to use one as well. The other silly thing. Ugh, if only she could reach. Kill the fuck out of that archer. Uh, uh, let's just use a vulnerary here too. Oh, we could freeze. Let's see how how far can I reach with the freeze? That's, really, that's the only guy I can reach. That's lame. That is so lame. All right, vulnerary it is. Let's get a heal. Hey, hey, I see a couple more people join. How's it going, guys? Right now, the situation is looking a little risky. Not necessarily grim, but risky, because anything can happen here. We got three people that can just come in and attack. And they both have pretty high evasion. But you never know. This game sometimes just... So we're going to have to figure out is we can get the kill on this archer here. Not with him because he fucking so fucking weak. This guy's got a range. Well, so the scenario here is I could try to go for the kill and ignore this barricade. Or I could try to kill this thing off, break the barricade and have him move in. But what happened last time was that he got killed because he's already taken a lot of damage. So he not a lot he can do. So he probably just needs to steer clear. Just let these two guys handle handle the rest of this. That probably really is the move. I'm gonna use the this thing here to kill this archer. So he's no longer a threat to anyone. So we got that barricade left. Moves for one, two, three, four. So if I keep him here, he's not going to be a threat. But if I move him one here, attack, he's probably going to die. However, they do have low speeds. So I may be able to put her in the way. Then that wyvern can also reach. He also has a low speed. So decisions to make here, huh? Can't just destroy. Do that. We are gonna open this up. The only thing is, we're just not gonna, we're just not gonna move him in. See, he's too weak right now. What we could do is we could move him in, but use a vulnerary so he doesn't just fucking die. We could see that he's faster, at a speed of 21, so he outspeeds both of these guys. So I put him in the way, give him a vulnerary, so he's going to be at 30. He's got a defense of 12. He's going to deal 10. Okay. So he'll survive. If I just put him in the way here and use a vulnerary. That way we just don't have everyone getting attacked. Ooh, I don't know. That's what sucks, is the fact that he... If he could take one of them out, we would be in much better shape. But he can't. He sucks. We're gonna... Ah. Uh, it's rough. Let's put him here. I'm trying to think of where to place him. And this is gonna matter. Because that's going to determine how... Oh no, because then the third, the third unit over here is going to get a, a hit. Yeah, see, I, I think people are going to die either way. Fortunately. So if I put them here, that's going to be only one that can reach them. So. Yeah, let's just give him an elixir so he can heal. Nice that he used elixirs. Let's see where this goes. Hopefully one of them tries to attack. We don't just get fucked. He's gonna land that hit. Hopefully he doesn't get hit again. That's all we can count on. Which odds are good. Oh fuck. I was not expecting him to get hit by that. Please dodge. 58. Damn it. See, we just can't win. Like, we can't. These odds are just not. 
It's so annoying. There's every move has to be perfect or you just lose. Have to redo that. And play it a different way, I I guess. I almost don't even want to stream this game anymore because of how repetitive it is. It's always on stream when this happens. I'm gonna have to redo that whole fucking thing. Yeah. It's almost has me thinking that I'm gonna stop streaming this game after this, because this is just not... Not okay. <laughs> like I, I have you guys watching the, the same turn three in a row. Alright, so... Way here is gonna be... I know we got a mage sitting down here. Two, three, four... We may just break this barricade and wait for them to come to us. That's about all I can really think of doing. Yeah, let's destroy this. We're probably just gonna have to keep our units back a turn. Items, vulnerary. Obviously, this freaking mage. And the thing is that since he's not... You can't even see his range here. So, one, two, three, four. One, two. That's about his range. It's going to be, like, here. So, we still should be able to move him here and be fine. She can move here. Of course, she can't reach the archer to be able to kill him off. Uh, items, vulnerary. Get her back, back to top health. Let's see if we can survive that turn at least. We're gonna have to do the same thing over here. Where the thing is that this archer has to die, so she can come here, kill this thing, but then she's gonna get attacked by multiple units. He's not gonna be able to reach that axe guy if I, because he can only move four, four spaces. So we're just gonna do that. Victory is mine. Uh, she will come here. Not the javelin. Oh god damn it! I keep fucking this up. Silverlands. Try that out. Probably gonna end up getting ganged up on here. I do not like this. This guy's not very useful right now. There's, he's one space away from being able to reach that to get the kill. Like, that's the shit that always annoys me. Okay, I'm gonna put him over here. Let's get him closer. He's gonna have to get an elixir just to live, I guess. He will come here. Uh, none of that shit works. He reach. Can reach just to get that kill so she can move one space and attack here. Oh, but it's flyers only so she can't move. But she actually does have to just attack the one that's already there. Leave him at a sliver of hell. If I remember, that's what happened the last time. Instead of doing that, I'm gonna have to see if she can get a get an attack here and survive. That is okay. That. It's fine. And I mean, I guess I'll just have him just get the kill here, just to get him a, a couple more levels. 
much more skilled. All right, and then she, I guess, is just gonna sit here, and not not do anything. She's just gonna keep tanking. Diamond gets hit, but he takes it. The champ. Nice to break, but now he's blocking the path for anyone else to be able to attack her. So, we're okay there. Oh, he tanks the Armor Slayer pretty well. Okay, I underestimated his, uh, his ability to tank that. It's a pleasant surprise. The fact that she keeps leaving them at a sliver of health is super annoying. <laughs> So at least we got a little more visibility of what's going on here, and holy shit, that is a lot of units. So we were able to make it through that turn. I think that alone is cause for celebration. That's us making it turn by turn through this freaking level. By us, I mean me. Uh, Alright, let's see, what do we do here? Get an attack. Actually, I could break this barricade, which is at a sliver of health, I think. Oh, shit, it doesn't just let me see the HP. I have to actually... Damn it. I'm gonna throw her over here. Just to get this freaking attack in. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> and she can come here and... Can we destroy... Really? You gotta be fucking shitting me. This is just the story of this freaking game. It's Sliver of Health. Oh my god. Some of the most breaded shit. It's that that shit keeps happening. It's like, oh, he's left at a sliver of health. And like, that matters so much because it only takes one hit point to be able to go attack and deal a ton of damage to my, one of my units. I guess that's the best that we can do on this side. It's gonna Understood. probably come back over here and actually deal a decent amount of damage. Any but again, leaving them at a sliver. So it's a world of difference between being able to go one unit kills one unit versus you having to expend two of yours to new uh what's it called uh neutralize one threat. And as you can see, we got at least six. We may have a couple more here in the shadows right side Plus he can now do this he can attack with the freaking ice breath hit those three units we'll be together forever. So, there's one of them is left at a sliver of health but two of them just disappeared so that's good that's very good now we can actually do stuff over here Devoted to you. She can reach all of this. Which is great. She can't deal a ton of damage to most of it. But that's annoying. But, you know. Between her and this guy, we can take down that archer. So we can neutralize that threat. So those two together might be good. So I'm going to have to double check that. Give me just a second here. Attack, Silver Dagger. That puts him to 23. The question is, can she can she deal 23? I don't think so. Nope. Of course not. That would be too fucking convenient. Even between two of them, they can't get the kill. Oh, I love this game. See how much he can deal here. He can't get the kill either. Unless we do some engaging. You know what is convenient though? Is uh he can, can actually going. get killed single-handedly. Because he's a fucking boss. It's a lot of damage on the backswing, unfortunately, but I'm here. How much can she deal? God, this is so annoying. I have, 
I, I have to just kind of see how much each one can deal with what weapon just to make sure that I don't screw this up royally. Because he can only reach one. I mean, he's going to have to attack whatever he can reach, right? She can get this kill, so let's start there. On her own, she can... Really? One? What the fuck is this game? Oh my god, every time I think we're good. Some bullshit. Strong foes. Okay, at least this way we can land a break and potentially crit. So let's try that. Fuck's sake. I'll help. Have at you. There we go. Victory is mine. Freaking Aijutsu. And he gained speed because he got a kill. That's that broken freaking ability that the emblem gives him. That one right there is Speed Taker. Grants a stacking speed of plus two each time unit initiates combat and defeats a foe. Bonus lasts for the rest of the battle, max plus ten. Like, that ability is so fucking good. Okay, so... Now that we have that, he can come in deep. And still not get the kill. Apparently, that freaking archer is a tank. Good enough, though. Good enough. He could have crit, too. There was that chance. That would have been amazing. Can't always have nice things, I suppose. He can still come here. At least he gets the kill. So that's cool. Got a chain attack. Yeah, whatever damage we take in the backswing, we're just gonna have to deal with it. And here's the other thing to always consider. In Maddening, there is always the possibility that you get crit. And it sucks when it happens, but it does freaking happen. It's like one of the most annoying fucking things, too. We have a ruffian here. I can't remember if there's another one in the shadows or not. So... Still that gamble. So this thing we can kill off with anyone. So we just have to worry about how we're going to kill this one. And to be honest, I'm not too worried about it. Because I believe that with the javelin we can... Actually, screw that. Both of these can deal a decent amount of damage. Yeah. I don't think she deals a whole lot of damage. So I'm just going to... She's also kind of like at low health. So... I want to keep her a little further away. That's how a princess does it. We got that taken care of. So now we only have this. This guy doesn't reach, but there might be a surprise unit here. I don't want that catching me by surprise, so... There's always that danger. The flyers tend to be pretty resistant to, uh... Magic. But... In this case... We can still deal a little chip damage here. We're okay. We're gonna do this anyway. And she gets a little bit of XP, I guess. She can come in and attack with a javelin. And deal quite a bit of damage. Not bad. It takes three units to kill one fucking flyer. We kill him with the daggers, and that thing is just fucking dead. There we go. Finally taken down. Alright, so... I don't think there's anyone here, so I think we might be safe on that front. We do have more shit to take care of on this end here. Unfortunately... She can't cross this rock or attack from a distance, so we're just gonna have to... Gonna have to wait. Alright. So, as always, she's being that evasion tank that I'd love for her to be. Oh, there is a second unit. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, we did get hit by a surprise unit, but didn't do much. And then we got another flyer over here, so we have to remember that. I think we turn off, what, they snuffed out this light? So, turn by turn, we're, we're surviving. Good. Second ruffian coming this way. Jesus. So we have to try to block this path. I think when he gets here, he actually lands here. 
we have a turn to kill him off before he becomes a real nuisance. But what the fuck is my? Oh yeah, I moved him over here. I, I believe she leaves him at a sliver of health too. Again? Oh no, she actually gets this kill. Fucking finally. You're done for. Nice, nice. Looks like things are looking up. Uh, I might have misplayed that because now he leaves him at a sliver of health. What we could do is destroy this. So we can come here. So he's got a little bit of evasion. We can actually get the kill here. Up to the silver bow, I think he's gonna be pretty deadly. Even the killer. Oh no, not the killer. It has to be the silver bow. That's another one of the things that I did in between battles, and which, why I restarted this battle, was that I wanted a chance to uh, refine the weapons and engrave them with the uh, emblems that I have available to me, so they actually have like a like an ace weapon. Ah shit, that could be very bad. No, he's got an evade of 130. He's got what? A hit of 76? So yeah, he's not gonna get hit. 76 hit, that's funny. She's not gonna get hit either. She may be a problem. Speed of 12, speed of 11, okay. 47 attack though, holy shit. She'll live, okay. And I think there might be another flyer, but I think he's a little further away if I saw that correctly. So I think we may be fine there. Now, back to the problematic zone here. He's low on health. He doesn't have that holdout ability that he used to when he had the Roy emblem, so... That, that could be, uh... What is this ability? I forgot. He initiates combat, he gets plus 15 of both. Okay. Is that he... a rare critter? I gotta be careful with the ones that are at low health. Now, as for the ones that are not at low health... Actually... Can he one-shot this? Yeah! Alright. Let's do that and then we can heal him with stabs. Nothing short of oh, he got the crit. Beautiful. Alright, Diamant. It's awesome. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, we gotta deal with two, two units. Uh, let's see. It's got highlight him and unhighlight him, so we know what we can attack with safely or relatively safely. I think she can pretty safely just come here and do a bunch of damage. And she can come here. Actually, we should definitely chip away first with the ones that have ranged attacks. Since he can't reach anyone, he's just gonna give a divine blessing to someone. Probably her. I love you all. Let's do that. She's not going to be able to reach anything, but that's fine. That's I put her away because I did not want her getting attacked. She's kind of kind of weak to be honest. So, like she gets a speed penalty from the weapons that she starts with. Like what kind of bullshit is that? She should have at least had something that she can carry. All right, this guy's just going to Ah, oh, he can't reach either. He can reach. And be safe from the second uh, axe wielder, so. Let's do that. Attack. Do a bunch of damage here. It adds up, you know. So, I don't believe we have a, a flyer over here. At least I would really fucking hope not. Said he can't reach, so she can reach and he can reach. Actually, all of these can reach. Also, she's got uh, thunder. I think we're just gonna do that. That's probably one of the safer kills that we've gotten. Oh, she crit with that? Yeah, that was totally necessary. <laughs> okay, so she can actually come in and... May not have to do much anymore. I think we may have this bottom area completely under control. 
he's gonna come over here. Just light this fire here. Ah, there's this asshole. She reach? No. Between both of these, can we get that kill? That's gonna be the other question. We can get the break with the sword. So that that could be pretty cool. Attack. Wow. Does not do a whole lot. He, he may actually have to engage. Emblem, engage! Just to be able to deal enough damage to this thing for it to not be a threat. All for one. Is that... Jesus, how is this thing so fucking tanky? What level is that thing? The fuck is it level one and... That insanely fucking tanky? We're actually gonna die there. Physical attack of 50. What the fuck? Wow. Well. She does have the that sh bonded shield thing, I suppose. So that negates one attack, so let let's see what we can do with that. We're starting to see what a battle here looks like. Oh, she gets one shot if this lands. God damn. How the fuck did that just get thrown at me like that? I can't kill him between the two of them, so I have to try to figure out a good way to position this. Bonded shield, that'll protect two of my guys. Actually, that might have to be it. It's... Can't come the only if we block her path here, like this, and I use bonded shield, she's gonna be able to protect both from one attack. So that might be the way that we get out of this alive. Now I'm gonna try to chip away at him, I guess. That's the play we got for now. Hopefully this works the way that I think it works. Oh, he's also poison. So that's that's pretty cool. On shield. I believe it's kind of like a what's it called? The chain guard. Effectively what that is. So she's not gonna get hit, and these two are protected. She's probably oh, she's gonna get double teamed. God fucking damn it. I really don't know how this is going to end up working out, but we'll, we'll see. I may have fucked that up royally because... Now I'm mad. I thought it was supposed to be protected. What the fuck happened? I did. Did I misread that ability? You gotta be fucking shitting me, man. I even crit him too and it just meant nothing. This is so fucking annoying. Well, I mean, we did... Going three turns in a row without having to rewind was a little too much to ask for. At least now we know that we got that going on, so... Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Okay, so we're gonna begin the player phase here. Gotta think this one through. I know that we're good here. Guess we may actually gonna have to bring. I just can't even fucking reach to because this asshole's right here. And he is one space away from being able to freaking reach him. Of course. So annoying. Yeah, I really don't know how to handle this. She's useless. Let's 
So now we have... He has what? A motion... We're gonna have to try to keep them away from him. That's the best we can do, is try to keep them safe from his attack. So these level... Oh, he's level 15, so he's not gonna count. Do we have any wyvern? Yeah, flying. They got a movement of six. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is gonna be the danger zone for him. We have to keep them away from this line here. It means these three units have to move on this side. The other thing up here is one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can attack freaking everything here. It's a matter of whether they can survive those attacks, which the answer is probably no. She can stay here and attack again. I don't know what these two can do. If they run away, there might be more flyers still hiding over here. That's... That's... We're gonna have to run away, that's the problem. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's one for the attack. So yeah, the, he avoid getting attacked. Uh, that's a tough one. I have a high avoid. can just equip him with the uh, silver bow and 28 equip him with that and just hope for the best she's gonna have to freaking run and hide over here here where she doesn't get attacked with, by both of them let's kill this first we can get that chain attack too. If I may. Dream well. Just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's here. So he is gonna attack my archer, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be able to dodge with a, a void of 128. It's that great axe or whatever the fuck it is. So yeah, she'll be able to safely wait here, hopefully. These three are gonna have to get the hell out of there. I don't think any of them can survive getting hit by that fucking thing. Also, yeah, we definitely need to put him in the way over here. That could be useful. Yeah, we can block that thing. Well, we can't block him because he can fly over the rocks anyway. Yikes, this is fucking tough. Oh, yeah, there was that the other axe fighter down here that we have to we have to kill. How to do this, I have to try to remember. That almost kills. Alright. Let's see. I can revive him. Yeah, let's get some damage on this. I'm here. <sighs> oh, I was hoping that would reveal the thing there, but I guess not. This one can should be able to kill it with the steel daggers here. Yeah, that should get the kill. Okay, we still got it. Alright, alright. And... So, let's take this off. Add him. Just take this kill. He will die if I don't crit. It is only a 38% chance, but that would be a good one to give a stone to, but of course he's one space away from being able to reach, as is the, the theme here. What he can do, though, is heal. He's going to have to move out of the way here anyway, so. Staff, Psychic. 
Give him a heal. Thank you. Yeah, because that's the other problem. He comes in, he's gonna get hit, and then he's gonna get piled up. He's gonna get hit by the other axe guy too. May have to just bring this guy in instead. Chip him. Farewell to you. I won, nice. my princess. Okay. Take that. Definitely not gonna complain about that. What what were the space we said we had to avoid? One, two, three, four, five, six. So here, here, here. So him and him need to move the fuck out of the way. He can actually stay because he's gonna be able to tank it really well. So let's see. Items. What are we gonna attack with? What's the best thing to attack with? I don't wanna use smash attacks. Whip him with this so he can actually fight back. And then Divine Blessing on him. I'll be good. I could quit you. Chances are this thing is gonna fly and attack my archer here. That's the most probable thing. He's gonna come down here. Items, he's gonna have to heal up, so we're gonna take a vulnerary here. And then she's gonna come here and take another vulnerary herself as well. Let's hope we made this we made it this time. Jeez, it's an eleven percent chance to hit and she lands it. Oh okay. I thought she was gonna go attack my archer, but okay. Stay strong. Alright, so now we can fuck that thing up. We got two units that we gotta fuck up here. We kill these two things. And then over here, she actually got hit, so she's kind of in danger here. However, this guy can just. And she can heal. Or she can just come in and do the bloop. Apparently not. These things are such high level, it's so unfair. Can you get the kill with the longbow? No. So he has to attack with a silver bow. Is what it is. I had no choice but to win. Right. Well, uh, what else can we do here? She still has to stay here and block in case another flyer comes in and tries to attack. Cause I don't want to leave him vulnerable to getting one shot. Although within a with an avoid of seventy five, that I mean that's pretty good. Still, she's gonna pretty much stay useless. She does need to heal up just in case any bullshit happens. Uh, Grants plus five HP, okay. Now we gotta take care of this here. It's a portion of a setup down here. Uh, he can use sword, so he's gonna come here and just clean house. Actually, we, we do have to kill this thing that's, like, super tough, so... We may have to prioritize this. Attack. Eternal Claw, Ice Breath, Tail Smash. I don't think he can counterattack, can he? Oh, he can, I guess, even with the Steel Great Axe. Jesus. So I can deal 27. 25 either either way I'm gonna be getting hit for a lot so what we can do here is say if I can deal 17 damage before attacking with range we may be good 
He's got range. This I'm guy's ready. got the tomahawk. So he can just kind of attack. Leave him at 16. That's cool. Let's do that. Hope it hits. Of course. Of course it doesn't hit. Okay. So annoying. <laughs> like, everything is like, oh, okay, here's the play. RNG says, no, fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Alright, what else can attack at a range? She's got a javelin and she deals like no damage. Uh, she deals no damage. This was my best hope that he landed that attack because he's the freaking heavy hitter and I, I guess just. No. No. He has. He's the one that has to come and kill this guy. Let's, let's see. Can she kill him with a... Attack with an elf fire? Oh, yeah. We do have to kill this. Flyer is going to have too much uh, resistance, so we're not even going to worry about that. Okay, cool. Now we can focus all the rest of our efforts on killing that freaking wyvern. So we can do... Attack here. Deal some amount of damage. My turn. And he's poisoned. That's cool. Got 23 left. So we did what? Eight there? So we need to deal nine more. She, she deal nine. Actually. Uh, can't, even, can't even do a ranged attack because I already blocked him off. Nobody's got enough movement to do that. All right, let's see if he can just kind of get a crit or something. So what would be the damage chance? He does not get, he's got a 27% hit chance. We could probably do it that way. Killing Edge 27, Wodow. Oh, they're almost exactly the same. Except the Killing, killing Edge has a higher crit chance. Oh, the Silver Sword actually gets to kill. Assuming the... Yeah, assuming that the chain attack doesn't fucking miss. Oh, we gotta risk it. It's the name of this game. I'll help. Okay, got it. I am sorry. Beautiful. Finally made it through that. Whew. All right. I'm gonna wait here. She's gonna get closer to here so we can... Actually, she's just gonna come here and visit. Get this visit done now. Oh no! I'll tell my nana to hide. Rescue. Oh, that's a good staff. I unfortunately cannot use it with this character, but I'm gonna keep it so I can trade it to someone who can use it. Cause that's actually really fucking good. Who's left? Just him? And this threat level is... Oh, he's also a freaking... A silver dagger with 28, 24. Wow. That's 28 damage. He's, got, he's only got to attack once, though, and I have a defense of 16. Still a lot of damage, but... Should I bait him out? Should I just... I think we just wait. I guess I could have put him in range and used the shield gambit. Oh shit! Yikes! I have to start putting her over here. She can actually defend herself, I guess. I'll manage. Okay, good. That way she has extra avoidance. Let's 
So she's in danger, but this guy can... She needs to get the fuck out of there. There shouldn't be any more danger over here. I think all the flyers that were there, dead. He can come here and have a huge avoidance rate too. And I think I just start moving her down here. As for these two assholes, how are we going to handle this? Two wolves. Oh, we can start by one-shotting one of them almost. Attack. Can we land the crit? Oh my god, that's a lot of damage that he deals back. Really? That's a very risky attack. I don't know if that's what I want to be doing. He cannot reach because that's his tradition. He just can't reach. If we attack here. He tanks them pretty fucking well. So that might be the play. I think he's just going to try and tank here. Okay. A 54% chance to land, I mean, I guess, but... Alright, so, uh... Shit! I don't know. That did not go the way that I wanted it to go. My wolf rider deals no damage. Their wolf riders, oh, theirs are fucking insane. How well does he block? Flame Gambit. I can do that. Light all that on fire. That would be what I would call a good start. I only have a 73% chance to hit, but he's got a 95. Jesus fucking Christ. You gotta do it, though. You gotta do it. If we light all that on fire, they're, they don't have a whole lot of mobility. They deal nine. I think I should be five. I don't think they're going to get me or anything on the backswing. I have a higher chance to crit them than they do, though. And if it starts looking worse, I mean, I can also just use a psychic to heal them. But yeah, look at how, how much more their mobility cut. If I move her here, I think only one of them is going to be able to attack. What the fuck is that item? I don't know what that item is. Hopefully it doesn't make him insanely strong. Right? Eh. It gives him a crit chance of... Oh, he's got a pretty high crit chance. That could be really bad. Really, really bad. Right, we can deal a ton of damage to him, but he can deal a ton of damage back, and that's a huge issue. It leaves him a 10. So we'll see. That leaves him a 10. How much damage can I deal with her? Nine. Really? I'm off by one? And that's assuming he even lands his attack, too, so... Can't get too... Confident with that. Let's use a staff here. Psychic him. Just to give him an extra assurance. Very effective. He can also just get crit and die. Bullshit that that can happen, but you know. It is what it is, I suppose. Can try to gang up on this guy, but no, nothing can really reach. She can come in and attack with a range of four, and only one guy with a range of two can actually attack this. The attack is only for nine. Now, what I'm curious about is what would an attack look if I actually get in here and we fight face to face? 
Just to see how much damage I would be taking back. She would om- Yeah, she would almost be dead. Oh, I have to chip at him, I guess. This game. This fucking game. At least, I believe he can survive an attack if I just put him here. Just let him sit here with a tomahawk. He's gonna wait. That way, these other guys can move in. And while I'm here, I mean, I might, I might as well just destroy this thing here. Get that shit out of the way. Items, elixir. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use another elixir. And, uh, let's see what I can take from her. See if I can use a weapon that she can use a little better. Silver, Silverlands. Get a 13 and 9. So. Can she use that? Is she. She have the, no, she only has the skill of B, I think. What is her land? You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to end the turn here. Let's hope this works. All right, they both take 10 damage. All my attacks have been missing. What the hell? Right, he should live. Don't crit. Okay, I think we survive. I think this is good. All moving in. All the flyers. Oh, he actually took 10 from that, huh? I didn't think he got clipped, but I, I guess he got clipped with the, the flame. All right, so we got three enemies that we got to deal with now and another one here on its way. We did make it another turn, though, so that's always the good news. It's always good news when we make it one more turn. So, we gotta strategically pick how we kill each of these. I've been careless. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, these guys are way tankier than I would like them to be, but... She can probably just attack with an L fire and get the kill, hopefully. How the fuck are these assholes that tanky? Even he cannot... Can he kill with a with a silver lands? He can, assuming he lands it. We're gonna have to try and see if he, if he can land it. Uh, you know we have to keep him here in this square. Please land it. I missed like three attacks in a row already. And to be fair, I was going to say important attacks, but like every attack is important in this game. If you don't play perfectly, you lose. So, rough. All right, so I can take this marker off, put that marker on. I won't flinch. Attack. Oh my god, I can. Oh, oh, I can land the kill. I guess he can land the kill back. But if I use a heal, he might be okay. Don't have a very high chance to land my attack, which is kind of scary. We got two healers here, so we may be able to get away with this. So, oh, he he's got the silver daggers, so it's not great. I'm gonna use her yet, I guess. Also, he unfortunately cannot reach, so he can get the break with the sword. He can kill that thief. For 16 twice with a 100% chance to hit. Perfect. Let's do that. Victory oh, like this mine. guy, like once he starts picking up steam with that ability that gives him extra speed, he is... Oh my god, he's so good. He just goes in and just assassinates. Oh. I don't believe I saw anybody else moving here. I think he's the only one. 
Got one, two, three, four. Swings for one. Steel axe, yeah, so I should be able to safely move him here. Attack. I'm wondering if a sword landing the break will be good enough. Oh, that's... These are risky attacks. Even this risky-ass attack is gonna... Ugh. No, I don't like this. I think I have to either heal him first or just chip him down. I'm gonna go for the chip damage first. Actually, I can flame gambit him. Uh, that, that sets the shit on, on fire. I don't like that. Let's just do a normal attack. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Got a lot of dodge chance. That, that's the thing about being in those thickets. No, okay. I, I can't be mad about that, though. That crit made things way easier. So that means that you may be better off just attacking with Thunder here. She still has such a low hit chance. God damn. We got a chance where he we can try to get that damage without him counterattacking. So let's try to prioritize those. I can't reach. She cannot reach. Anything for you. All right, so she's gonna have to get a heal. Oh. Yeah, whatever. I can still fight. I don't think it's much, but. What is the highest percent chance that we can land this hit? 73. 78. All right, so it looks like 78 is our highest. We have to do that. You put up a good All right. Fight. All right. We're good. Need an iron axe. What the fuck. So if anything pops up by surprise, should only be one thing, and he's probably gonna live through it, so. Now we got this little dilemma going on. Let's see what this guy's range is, and this guy's range. So, five. One. Silver axe. Damn. These guys hit hard. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he may be able to come here and... Oh, that gets the kill with the longbow. Nice. Nice. Let's do it that way, then. I can't believe I did that. All right. All right. I have to see where is the danger coming from on this side. I think she can just... Wait, how much? She's at 23. So, in case one of these attacks actually lands... Let's see, she's got a defense of 14. Attack of 29, so... Either one that hits, she'll be able to live. Actually, she's untouchable. She's in the freaking bushes there. She can come back down here. Actually... Let's have her light this torch first. Ah, shit. Destroy. Just because why not? Yeah, it's left to five health, whatever. What else is left? She's left over here. Okay. I want to move her in so she can deal some chip damage if necessary. And then she can stay right where she is, I guess. Oh, they're not going for the attack. God, there's four wyverns. Okay, so... It looked like there's something going on over here. Not entirely sure what. I don't like it. Hopefully, it's not more flyers. Looks like all the flyers are going to be coming this way. So, they got a hit of 109. 109. This guy might be more threatening because he's got a hit of 129. 
but his avoidance is only 40, but if he moves here, it's 100. So he can actually live if he moves here. So we can kill one more. I don't think he's gonna get... I think he's got pretty good odds. I had no choice mean that guy win. up. And yeah, being in the bush with an avoid of 100, 9% chance to hit, 9%. And 29. I don't think that I'm gonna get hit by two of them. So hopefully, hopefully that that works out. Some might get surrounded too, but oh, he actually almost gets the kill here. Almost. To actually, get the kill would be a little too convenient, you know. Not leave him at two. At least I can soften him up for the next round. And no, I do not want to move these guys. And these are definitely moving the hell out of the way. I have to. So whatever else is going on over here, I I don't know, to be honest. What we do know is that we got an army coming here from down south. I gotta think about how to handle that. And to help me think, I'm gonna... That would be a good time to to remind you guys. If you could be so kind as to hit the like, please. Show me some love. And it'll motivate me to win this instead of just getting killed here like the scrub that I kind of am here. Okay, I like the fact that he we have this bush now. That means that he can just come in here and Can we get this kill? Maybe not with the silk uh we're gonna have to resort to trying to land a crit. Killing Edge has a higher crit chance than the Wodao. And... Is that Killer Edge just better than the Wodao in every way because it's got that emblem? I think so. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's see what we can do there. He's got two... It's there we go. I was going to say, with a 60% crit chance and two attacks, he should be good. So this guy will reach and see what these guys' ranges are. So I don't really want to get in range here. Probably just want to stay in this bush. And avoid of 115 to his 142 hit. I don't think he's going to do much. He's going to be able to counterattack with... With a crit chance, and he has a revival stone. That's right. Oh, hell yeah. And just for science, I'm gonna see how much. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it deals much damage there. Okay. Let's try to move everyone else down here. Yeah, we're gonna take it one enemy at a time if we can. Guess we might as well destroy that while we're here. So why not? Why not? Just gonna move everything closer a little bit. And he's just gonna use a vulnerary. He does need to heal. Then... He probably has to... This be his last... Oh, no. Not his last one, but he does have to use one. All right. There we go. Yep. He was gonna get attacked there twice. He's a fucking G, so he dodged him. We could have been friends. Oh, look at this. That lagged kind of weird. Oh, that wasn't a lag. That was just the animation of the emblem attacking instead of him. That was really cool, though. He crit twice in a row. I like that. What the hell are all these flyers deciding to come down this way instead? Those assholes. <laughs> all right. So we're going to have to... do have to clear these guys. 
hopefully we can do that relatively quickly so that we can come this way and assist. I do want my archer to be able to come down here. He's kind of a, a big player in this in this whole ordeal. Attack with a silver bow. That'll kill that. We're going to be able to kill two of them in one round, which is great. Kill the one that had the sword. That was the biggest threat. Attack, liberation. Lands the break and of course leaves him at two, but I guess at that point we might we're better off just getting the kill on this uh the one that we already softened up. Guided by the there we go. Alright, so we got a whole freaking mess coming our way here. So hopefully. These two can get down here in time. Handle it. He, I think, just stays where he's at. Just, damn, that he's doing pretty fucking, pretty fucking good on his own. Got a hit chance of 106 to its avoid of 115. None of these can hit. That means that he can solo all of them. And silver axe. Steel Great Axe. None of them have range either. So actually, can he... Oh, he can't reach. I was hoping he'd be able to reach here. No, I guess he can't. I guess we probably just leave everyone where, where they're at. Oh, you do this. Staff. Oh, I don't need to illuminate here. We just wait. Got an anti-toxin that we're gonna send to convoy. And uh so it looks like we're good on everything on this side. That's destructible. Okay. So it looks like we can pretty much relax here. This wound is nothing. We got first long range attacks do no damage. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. Nope. I want to put them one here. Just get everyone closer here. He's going to use a psychic. That we can heal uh, our tank over here. Why, thank you. He definitely needs that healing. And she gets a little bit of experience there. Yeah, it's enough to level her up, so that's totally worth it. And I think that's all we can do for now. Let's see, 42. Those are some very high attack numbers. Like insane attack numbers. Got 32 HP, but he also has the Revival Stone, so if anything goes wrong, fine. So the name of the game right now is Evade. How do you get a 3%... Chance. I thought it was way, way lower. Precision power. Boom. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, he didn't want to attack. Holy shit, we got everybody coming. Damn. Oh, damn. Attack. I guess we're going to continue the beatings here. 0% chance to hit. We could have been friends. Precision power. Nice. I am sorry. He lands those crits. Holy fuck. Being able to attack twice in a row without worrying about anything. Uh, I am a fan. Okay, so these guys are just high. They're not the high level ones. They're not like the mini bosses that I've been fighting. So in order to deal with this guy, I... I don't know. 94 to hit. Everything seems to be under 100. It's got an avoidance of 115. It initiates combat, inflicts minus 10 avoid on foe during combat. Okay. I can engage him now. 
kill off this flyer. So I think I might just do that. Well, next turn. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. 39. I think I may have to get everyone to back up. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah. Let's back everyone up a little bit. He can only move how far? One, two, three, four, five. So, I have to move this guy here. Him here. One closer. That's fine. Damn it. Tell me where. Yeah, this way, he's the only one that they can attack. And he's gonna fucking ham on all of them. Yeah, who's left? Oh, that's right. I can just kill this thing too, right? have to use him so that I can get the kill. Wait, he actually will attack me for... I forgot if the hand act... Sorry, the... I gotta use the longbow then. That gets the kill too, so that's perfectly fine. Here we go. Now we can start running this way and trying to get trying to get down there as quickly as we can. Jesus. Well, that could be problematic. Silverlands almost gets the kill, but he tanks so fucking well. That is... That's great. See, now that is tanking. He's gonna attack. I think he even needs to engage. He can just keep attacking here, and he's just never gonna get hit. Ever. Gonna land a break. Dude, this guy's my boy right now. Holy shit. Alright, so this guy, we can definitely kill him. No problem. I just gotta see this guy's one, two, three, four, five. So he'll be able to attack this space here. That's it. So, yeah, we can move him in. Yeah, let's do this. Get some damage in there. Let's hope he doesn't miss. Oh no, 99% chance we're good. Hell yeah. It's, she can pick up a kill here easily. Just, yeah, let's just do that. As we can. If I may. All right, looks like we dug ourselves out of that rut that we were stuck in. How many of these assholes are coming our way? One. Ooh. These are both like mini bosses. What are their effects? Prevents unit from being broken. Cornered beast, if units HP is 50% or less at the start of combat, grants crit plus 30 during com- Holy shit! <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to try to kill them off as quickly as I can. And they both have Revival Stones, so I'm dealing with two bosses with the have Revival Stones. Damn. This other guy's abilities, he get... He, if he initiates combat, he gets Strength plus 6. Okay. Well. We'll see how we can deal with them. Uh, I have to get these guys to come down here ASAP. Oh, 
she cannot get here any faster, can she? I want her to move out of the way. She's not very useful. Now, damn it. Move him one back. Just so I can put her here. Yeah, we should be good. He's not going to take a lot of damage. 34 and 39. Yeah, he's barely going to take any damage at all. It's cool. I think we can end the turn there. Well, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anyone. Okay. There we go. Someone actually miss it and attack against my armored unit. Ain't that crazy? Oh, see, that mage here is probably gonna be an issue. It's hit of 115. The thing about magic is that they ignore any evasion boost that you get from uh from terrain. So that that could be a real issue. So, the good thing here is that it's probably going to be okay here. You can probably engage, kill one of these guys. Now, let's try to see what his engage can do. Astro Storm. It's not do shit to him. Holy fuck, he's tanky. It kills the mage. Which, that's kind of the point of the art and the, that ability, why I put it on him, is so he can snipe the, the back row units. Pacify with moves. <laughs> A good That's always nice to see. Elwind. I don't think I need that now, so I'm just gonna send that to Convoy. What we got here? So we got the two bosses. Both chilling right here. Both gonna attack me, I, I would assume. Their hit chance is crap, though. I think he'll be fine. He's unfortunately not gonna be able to fight back because he's stuck with a bow now. But, well. She's gonna pick up the skill. Easy. Alright. She gets some extra docks. That's cool. 47 attack. That's so fucking wild. Their attack points are in the 40s. It's in the 34, so I mean, I guess it would be too good if he just never took damage, especially from a boss. But, yeah. I think the axes break him, right? Oh, I forgot what... Oh, his engage is that freaking... Dragon attacks. So I don't think he can get broken from that. If I engage... Oh, shit. No, no. I did not mean to do that. If I engage him, he goes up to 39 defense. So then he really does take note. He does not care about attacks. Oh, and he can use uh, the Divine Blessing again. That's the other cool thing about him. Ain't that neat? So... That being said, I think I'll be able to put him in the way over here. Do some damage to him. He'll be able to attack, but I don't he's not gonna be able to reach. He did not have a hand axe or anything, so. She can come over here. Attack. Ooh, she crit? Haha, <laughs> nice! Beautiful! Hell yeah. That is what's up. I need to see. He's got a revival stone, so he. I'm going to transform him, and I'm going to make sure that I, I put his stone on someone useful. Someone who can. I'm going to put it on him, actually.
Divine Blessing. He's gonna be one of the guys that's gonna be up front, just freaking raw. raw. So, he needs to have that protection. Not bad. Better than only getting two. She can... I think she can straight up just come over here and not care. I'm gonna put her here anyway, just in case. If she does get hit, that's... Nah, I think we're fine. He also has an engage still. Man. So yeah, we're gonna be able to gang up on them, no problem. Send it here. He ain't doing Nothing shit. I hate worse than a meddler. You stuck your nose in our business, you'll pay. Oh yeah, he had a tomahawk. I was right when I said he didn't have a hand axe. That's why I felt safe. Oh, he had a tomahawk. So here's... Now what I do here... Is shit. I need to put him here so he can do the AOE. Can I get the damage here though. I would only have an avoid of 87 if I pull him out. Which hit of 87, 97 to hit. It makes it so that they actually have a chance. Which I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my god. Brutal. These are some brutal circumstances. I have to see how to do this. He can actually come here and do his engage. I think he'll die on the backswing if we do that. So let's just avoid 44 plus 30. I think we may actually have to take a couple risks here and actually move them out. I want to see how much damage he can deal if I just attack. Damn, they're tanky. Holy fuck. He's got a 0% chance to hit. However... Damn. That's rough. I suppose I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna Uber here. Because I'm thinking if I bring him down here, call doubles. No, that's not even worth it. Let's say call doubles so that they can uh, be back up and chip damage, but it just doesn't seem worth it. Let's see how much damage he can do. No, I'm gonna have to move him. He's gonna have to attack. It's the only real way to do this. And he's gonna have to keep critting. Those guys are fucking tanks. God oh, damn. However. Ice breath. Yeah. It hits both. For a lot, too. I'm not alone anymore. Wait, he could have attacked twice. Is that what happened there? Oh, that was the uh, the backup. Did that? Okay. He took some damage. That's cool. Oh, and he can't move. He can't move. Guess I froze him. I forgot he had that ability. That's amazing. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah, she's she's coming in for that booty then. We coming for that booty. I... I guess we chip away. Watch is this? Damn, that's a lot of damage. Can't risk that. It's gonna have to... You can't reach with a tomahawk either. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're just gonna focus on one since the other one is frozen and can't attack. Yeah, I'm okay with this. We're gonna do that. Look at it as a tomahawk, kind of complicates it because I can't really. I can fight back. That's that's the biggest issue with that one. He can, well, he can reach if I move this guy out of the way, which I will. That way I can come here and attack with the longbow. Get some more chain attacks in, too. I have it. They're just chipping away. Chipping away. She can actually come here. Attack. Liberation. He's got no chance of landing a hit. So we're gonna chip away. The Oasis is ours, you hear? We've got exclusive plundering rights. <laughs> right. Who else can do anything right now? No one really. Unless she. I need to read what that ability was, because I definitely did not. Used to prevent first attacks on adjacent allies until your next turn. Trigger percentage. Oh. Trigger 100% for flying allies. Okay, so when I used this last time and it didn't work, it's because there's a 20% chance that it won't. And of course, you know, that 20% chance happened. Okay, so now I can see that a little bit better. Gonna move in a little closer just for the sake of it. I want him to move a little bit closer as well. Probably don't want to do the flame gamut yet. Attack. Wow. Do not want him to be in range. Definitely not. He's probably just gonna be useless. She can just kinda chill here. Actually, she can attack. Yeah. Do a bit of chip damage there. He can't do anything about it. Frozen in place. So, yeah. Hell yeah, let's do this. Oh, he chose not to attack because he knows he can't land anything. So. I'm going to come here. Attack one sig actually can he fly around? No. We just gotta land another ice breath right here. This ice breath should kill that one. Severely damage the second one. And then the rest of the gang can just jump on him. Oh, and it broke the stone too? He hit both. Nice. Yeah, so we should be able to one round this guy. Maybe. Okay, let's see here. So he still has an engage that he can use. So we're going to. Absolutely going to. Yeah, it has to be this way. Houses unite. Heal as much damage as you can. Get in there and kill. The thing about those special attacks is that they don't get the opportunity to counterattack. So that's the uh, strength there. Oh, he can't use the killer bow. Actually, I think he can. Killer Edge is still just better, though. He's got a 9% chance to kill me. That's interesting. He only deals one damage. It's wild. Alright, let's get in here and engage. Attack, all for one. Actually, no. It'll be a better idea for her to come this way. Attack from here. Has to be with liberation, so that she doesn't just die on the on the backswing. I'll 
So I think the way we're gonna kill this tank is just gonna be from uh, chain attacks, really. Attack. No. I put her on this side. Because we can. It's a decent amount of damage, too, with that thunder. Excuse me. She missed? You cunt. Ah, uh, you're cool. I'm sorry for calling you a cunt. Let's see, who else? Because the idea here is that she has this ability where everybody within two spaces is gonna chain attack. So, the way that's gonna work out is that we're gonna move as many people as we can within two spaces, and then she's gonna attack at the end. One moment. I won't miss. Oh, he crit? Nice! Even better. So we're gonna wait here. She's gonna come here and not do anything. She's just gonna get in range. That's the idea. Attack with a tomahawk. No, I don't. I don't want to do that because I want. I really want to use her engage. And then all for one, just because I want to see this freaking this party here. Yeah! <laughs> that was a good ending. I don't care what anyone yes, says. I that looked fucking cool. Again. Oh, yeah. I think that was a very satisfying ending. <laughs> Time to celebrate. And yeah, so the MVP was our samurai by just doing that thing that he did where he would just crit many, many times in a row. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was great. That was looking very frustrating at the beginning, and I think I drove a lot of people away from how slow that went, but it pays off towards the end once you actually catch that victory and run away with it. That's why I'm so torn with this game, where it's like, is it a good game to stream? It's like, I feel like there's a payoff to it, but I guess it, it's uh, a niche crowd. I wish I could put a poll in the chat so people Sorry can kind of let me know. Into the scuffle, divine one. That's all right. But I haven't had a chance to say why I'm here. I already explained this to Queen Sephoria and Prince Vagato, but the fell dragon has been released. He's back. Hmm. It's sudden, I know. You're probably shocked. I already knew. You did? Mom and Fogato did too. We've all known for a while now. The rest of that. Fogato, you too? Sorry. Truth is, our chance meeting in Tula Desert wasn't totally by chance. Were you deceiving us? The opposite, actually. I had to make sure that you weren't deceiving us. When the Fell Dragon returned, we had to take steps to protect our country. I'll lay it out for you. The palace has scouts all over Elios, keeping an eye on the Three Kingdoms. When Elusia brought back the Fell Dragon, we learned about it early on. But we couldn't beat him without the Emblem Rings. And we couldn't use them without you. Our only option was to focus on defense. The Corrupted started appearing, so we had to quickly lay out a plan. And what was the plan? First off, Mom would stay in the palace. She'd work with the Royal Guard to keep out intruders. And we'd send out our militia, the Sentinels, to bolster soldiers' efforts against the Corrupted. Yeah, sorry, I'm not being quiet to be boring. I just don't want to talk too much over the, the cutscenes, that's all. As Captain, my job was to watch out for the Corrupted near the Illusion border. If someone claimed to be the Divine Dragon, I'd size them up and bring them to the palace. That's why you hid the fact you're a prince. I was in the Sentinels, too, and I wandered the country, keeping our ring safe. As part of this plan, did you ever consider asking for another country's help? No, because then we'd have to help them. We can't fight another country's battles. We're stretched thin fighting our own. That's how Solm Makes does Makes sense. It. 
You scratch your own back, we'll scratch ours. Thank you very much. I see. I'm sorry we misled you, but we did it to protect the Queendom. I don't mean to criticize your country's way of doing things. I'm just surprised. Here's the most important part of the plan, though. If you did turn out to be the Divine Dragon, we'd give you the Ring of the Radiant Hero, and then tell you where to find our other emblem ring. Psalm has a second ring? Yep. The Ring of the Crux of Fate. It's in the... Your Highness, a message from Psalm Palace. Oh, uh, shit. Are they uh -huh. getting attacked? What is it? Hortensia, Princess of Elugia, has breached the palace. Oh, the cunt. Oh. oh. What? <laughs> How did she get in? We have to save Mom. Let's go. She didn't give her the memo. <laughs> Oops. Am I actually going to have to fight her? Or can we just show up and be like, yo, yo, cut that shit out. <laughs> Damn. All right, so I'm going to pick up these items real quick. Uh, how the hell? Oh, I see. And then, yeah, just pick up the items, adopt whatever animals we can adopt. Yeah, another puppy. Let's adopt that puppy. Adopted. It's funny. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw something. Uh, but yeah, don't leave yet. Let me try to um, finish picking these things up, and I think there's gonna be a little bit more dialogue. So, patient. What the hell? It's not picking it up. What the hell? Okay, there we go. I was wondering. It's like, what the hell? It's stuck. Be another item here. Am I blind? What the hell? I'm not seeing it. Is it in here? I'm not seeing this other item that's supposed to be here. Am I fucking blind? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was just straight up hidden. It's fucking dumb. There's a glowing spot over there that's. Hell yeah, we got a dove. Yeah. Don't leave yet. I think we got a little bit more dialogue, like I said. I just gotta pick these things up before I actually proceed. Oh, we can't adopt the camel. That's right. Damn. There's like a glowing spot over here. What, what the hell is this supposed to be? Oh. What was that? It was just a glowing spot over a circle, so I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, let's, um... Uh, depart. Somnial. And I, like I said, I think there's more dialogue. So let's wait for that. That alacrity skill is freaking insane. That's the one that the samurai had and why he kept doing the double attacks before the opponent had a chance to counter. Because he had that combined with the, with the speed taker that just kept boosting his speed every time he killed a foe. So it's a deadly combo. Okay, it looks like there's no more dialogue then. I lied. Huh. I lied to you to keep you sticking around even longer. Mwahaha. But don't leave yet, though. There is still one more thing. A couple, couple more things. So one being that we have a tiny puppy right here. And let me turn the lights back on. So I'm just going to pet him for a little bit on camera. He, he needs a little screen time. He wasn't here at the beginning because he was he fucked off over there doing something else. Kobe. Hi. Look at him. He likes any kind of attention, really. Yeah, usually he's really needy, and like when I turn to him, he tries to like jump up on me over here. But like when I'm talking into the mic, he kind of like knows that it's like, all right, whatever. So he just kind of goes to his bed and just chills there. <laughs> but oh, so before before we leave, I just wanted to let you guys know for I'm not gonna stream tomorrow. Uh, reason for that is it's St. Patrick's Day. And I got uh, got some stuff to do on St. Patrick's Day, you know, like party and drinking related stuff. So I'm I'm not gonna have any time to do that. Also, on Saturday, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'll be able to stream. 
is I got a lot of work to do. Like some of the things that I do on the side, like I do my nine to five. And then on top of that, I mean, just, you know, living alone and having to take care of the house. And one of the other side jobs that I'm doing is I work on like, uh, I work on guitar amps and this particular one is actually a, an amp for a bass, but like I, I got parts here for a circuit boards taken apart. I'm working on soldering and desoldering and figuring shit out here. But, uh, that's another thing that takes up a lot of my time. I also work on like video game consoles. So I've, I fixed a couple of PS twos and Xbox and some controllers. So they, they got a lot going on. I, it keeps me busy. So I didn't mean to go rambling, but point being, yeah, Saturday might be a very busy day other than I might be hung over. But yeah, I actually do have to repair uh, a guitar amp. I have, I'm gonna have to go to Chicago for that. So that'll be fun. And Sundays, you know, usually I also gotta go visit the family, go at their family house. I got my parents, my sisters, and you know, I got gotta keep in touch with them too. So, but anyways, uh, I will let you know if you wanna follow. Uh, actually, I, I'm gonna ask you, please uh, follow me on Twitter at Metal Shred Freak. Also, uh, on Locals, uh, you can see the button down there. It says join, the pink one. Uh, let me, yeah. So, uh, metalshredfreak.locals.com. And it's all free. I don't have any exclusive content. I'm not charging or anything. That's, I just have that just as another way to keep in touch with people. And it does give you the option if, if you kind of want to donate a little something, you know. I'm not going to complain about it, but, like, honestly, the important thing is to try to get people to join talk to each other, have fun, you know, just kind of, you know, get a, get a group together. That's all. So everybody that stuck around, holy shit. Thank you. Like I, I really do get uh, some satisfaction from having people that actually want to watch me being an idiot on the internet. <laughs> but yeah, everybody, thank you for watching. Peace out.